Hello and welcome to another tech tip video. Today I want to talk about the Dispatch add-in. It's only available for SolidWorks PDM Professional. It's a customizable add-in in the PDM administration tool. And now where it is and how to install it is in C Drive, Program Files, SolidWorks PDM, Default Data, and all the way at the bottom there's this dispatch.caf. Here you can just drag and drop it and then we'll drag and drop it again in the add-ins. If I didn't already have the dispatch add-in in there, it would add it after I, I dropped it in there. From here, I'll do a right-click, Administrate Actions, and now this window will pop up. I already have two actions installed, but here I'm going to just remove the copy file and use it as an example. So the first thing we want to fill in is copy file and then description, copies file. Um, here in the activation, we can either choose from any command that will be in the local vault view or we can right click and then click on the action name and then that'll activate it. The other options we have are for during state transition. So in here, you can check that and edit the conditions. So here we can have it activate in, at a certain state transition or during checkout, during add. And here we're just going to stick with the menu command. And here we want to add the command. So we're just going to do copy file. Again, there are many options for these commands. You can do multiple commands in one action. Some of the common ones may be check in a file, delete, check out, copy. You can also have them in a certain order, so again, you can have multiple commands for one action. First, you can have copy a file and then check in that file, but it has to be in that order. And for the source file, we're going to pick the path of the selected file. In the destination file, I'm going to do the root of the vault and this test folder that you have to make beforehand if you want it to end up in there, and then the name of the file. Now, if you have your vault set up to not allow duplicate file names, you can also put something before, such as, um, I'm going to do test underscore, and then you'll have the name of selected file. It won't work after it, as it'll add to the extension, and we don't want that. So click OK. OK again. Keep it in OK. OK. Now I'm going to go to my local vault view. I already have a file and the folder that I want it to go into. Now if we go into the folder, you can see there's nothing in there right now. And we have this file called test. I'm going to do a right click, copy file, and then go to test. And we'll see a test dash test. So that's the, so that's how the dispatch add-in can work. Again, it's very customizable. And that's all through the PDM administration tool.